Hello, hey, this is Rebecca Carlson with Cobalt Banker Bain. I am just getting started here on my Facebook Live virtual tour of my new listing in um, the Lake Union area. And I just thought it'd be great to give you a little bit more information and give you the opportunity to answer questions and just see a little bit more about why this condo might be a good fit for you. Um, I'm just going to show you the flyer here just so you can have a little bit more detail of what this is. So again, we're at 1504 Aurora Avenue North, number 103. Um, while this is a first floor unit, um, the backside sits up pretty high, so it's actually very private. We have 634 square feet. The dues are 350 a month. They cover the common area maintenance hot water, garbage, sewer, and earthquake insurance. And there is the MLS number if you wanna go check it out on your computer while I'm giving you the tour. So let's just start with the kitchen because I think that's always one of the most important rooms for um, any buyers um, when they're looking at whether a place might be a good fit. This place has a ton of storage. So the appliances are electric and they all stay. You've got a nice double sink, lots of cabinets, and even this great pantry area here. I'll open it up so you can kind of see a little bit more. So you can see you could store a ton of stuff, both sides, uh, almost all the way to the ceiling. Nice privacy window, gets a little bit of light in there. And then your washer and dryer unit is here. Now you could add a curtain if you wanted to kind of keep that private. These are newer, and so the door was removed to accommodate the larger size. Nice stainless steel refrigerator. And then as you walk into the unit, the front door is there, and then off to the immediate left is a nice Coat closet, again, lots of great storage, fairly tall ceiling height down to the floor. The heating in this unit is are these electric wall heaters, but honestly, these are pretty insulated units, and so um, they stay fairly um, consistent in their temperature most of the time. One thing I really like about this condo unit is it's fairly wide. You have a lot of space here. You can see that we have kind of set up here, the staging shows an office space on this side. Um, there's a nice big side size um, cabinet there, a shelving unit, a chair. And then over here, we've set this up as the dining area. Um, there is a, a brand new light fixture above that area. You could put a pretty large table there that could easily um, you know, seat four to six people. Um, or if you'd rather have a smaller table, you still have lots of space over here to put a buffet or some other sort of storage um, unit there. And then as you walk into the living area, um, it is a wood-burning fireplace. I, I can't confirm whether that works or not, um, but at least it is, it's a nice feature um, to look at there. Again, you could have a fairly large sofa here, even like an L-shaped one pretty easily. Because the sliding doors you see there um, slide from the left to the right, uh, you could have an L-shaped unit that goes in front of that right side of that window, um, so you're not blocking access to the deck. And I'll get to the deck here in a little while, but just to point out while we're here, it is one of the larger decks. You'll see when we go outside that the units to either side have a deck size that's about a third of the size of this deck. So it's really great for days like today. Uh, we have fresh paint throughout this entire unit before we listed it. And then we also um, completely remodeled the bathroom right before we listed it. So brand new vanity and faucet, new light fixtures and mirror, new toilet, and then this really awesome subway tile um, that really just, I think, makes it so much more modern. We did go ahead and decide to leave. There's an old vanity here. So if I were to open that, you could see a little bit of extra storage. So if you needed some extra storage, um, you could certainly use that as well. 
So very move and ready. And I love the light fixtures we picked out. Moving on into the main bedroom. Um, again, really nice sized. You could easily put a dresser where that little side table is. Um, you can kind of see there's a chair there. A view of the deck with some tables and chairs. Brand new light fixture. This is a queen size bed. You, again, could put a king size in here really easily and have room um, for side tables on either side. Another bonus, huge walk-in closet. So uh, the original um, hangers are still there, but I would definitely consider um, improving the storage even more by looking at maybe like a California closets type of design. But it's, it's definitely a lot of space. Something you don't get with a lot of um, condos nowadays. You know, a lot of people are looking at townhomes over condos, but what I'm finding with a lot of the new townhomes being developed right now, they are super small, like a thousand square feet, no parking whatsoever. And actually the living spaces feel a lot smaller to me. Um, so, and again, in Seattle, you're not gonna get a newer condo or a townhome for less than hmm, 600, 650. You, when you add in the HOA dues to a condo, it's still a lot less um, than that price point. And you also are getting a garage parking space um, dedicated. So um, I, think, I think it's important to keep your uh, minds open to the possibility of whether a condo might be a better fit for you over a townhome, even with the HOA dues. So going outside, so you have a small little space on this side, and you can kind of see the comparison of the other unit's deck space. And then the rest of this, huge. And there is an outlet out here, so, you know, if you wanted to have um, some music playing or whatever, some extra lighting. And then you have a legitimate view of downtown Seattle from your first floor unit. Pretty amazing. Um, that building there is newer, so you don't have to worry about any additional building going up. Everything is built out um, as you see it now. Parking is through this alley in the back. Super easy access, nice paved alley. There are two parking garage. We're on P1. You have one parking space that goes with this unit. and one storage space. I'm gonna to get to the location here when I go upstairs to show you the rooftop deck. But uh, don't let the address fool you. It's an amazing location. So I really love, um, again, just the overall space. It's actually a fairly rectangular living space which gives you a lot of flexibility for furniture arrangement. Um, like I said, there's sort of three main areas here that you could kind of break it into. Uh, study area, office space, table, and then of course the living space. So I want to go ahead and show you um, some of the other features of the building. The dues are fairly low um, in terms of comparing it to, for example, dues that you'd see in downtown Seattle. We don't have a concierge, there's no weight room, but there's an amazing rooftop deck that um, uh, is really beautiful and we're gonna go take a look at that now. So this is a secured building. As you know, the address is on Aurora, but you can see here, it's all gated um, and secure. And the bedroom and living space face 
east and so you don't get any of that road road noise there is a nice driveway in front for guest parking and there's the main lobby access there and then just to the north of this building is a um, little parking area too off Aurora so again if you have multiple people here uh, they could park there as well and there is access to the building um, through some stairs on the side off of Dexter. So there are six floors, five of which are um, living space. The sixth is the rooftop deck and two parking garages, as I mentioned. The unit's parking space is on P1. Number 66 is the unit number, or is the parking space number. I know, very exciting to look at the door. Sorry about that. Again, secured through a key. I had already opened it for easy access. So in talking about the location before I kind of awe you with the view, um, so there's a pedestrian overpass right there that leads you right to um, the south end of Lower Queen Anne. So if you wanted to go for a nice walk or hit up some of the restaurants and areas um, on Queen Anne, it's super easy to get to that side just through that uh, pedestrian overpass there. So there's a community hot tub as part of the rooftop deck um, amenities. It is not currently open like a lot of pools and hot tubs and other condos. Um, it's closed because of COVID. But imagine, you know, 4th of July a few weeks ago, sitting up here watching the fireworks over um, the Space Needle. There's a lot of space up here to sit and enjoy. Um, they also do have um, cushions that go on these chairs. Again, uh, because of COVID, they're trying to keep everything um, you know, clean and, and safe for everybody. So again, if you're not familiar with uh, Lake Union, uh, it's six miles around Lake Union and there's a path around the entire lake. So on this side, um, You've got the West Lake side where you've got a nice wide path. And then you connect on the north end to uh, the Burke Gilman Trail where you see Gasworks Park up there. And then as you go east and then around the eastern side, um, it's not so much a trail to be honest, um, but you can go down into the waterfront and kind of walk or ride your bike um, along that street along the waterfront and kind of check out some of those houseboats. But it's an, or if you're a runner, six miles is an ideal um, trail to, to go along. Um, and Dexter, if you're not familiar with Dexter, Dexter has had a lot of improvements over the last, oh, probably two years. Um, I love watching these float planes go off. I could watch it every day. And if you lived here, you could. <laughs> um, so anyway, Dexter is one of the main arterials that gets you basically from like Fremont into downtown. So if you work downtown, South Lake Union area, for example, and when you return to the office sometime, hopefully soon, uh, there's fantastic bike lanes. So they really improved the bike lanes um, going down Dexter. And so, and it's fairly level to get at least to the South Lake Union side. So you could jump on your bike, take off from the garage, and be, you know, South Lake Union in less than 10 minutes on your bike. Um, there's also lots of restaurants around here. So not on this exact block, but about two blocks to the south. Uh, of course, there's a Starbucks. There's a great Korean um, grill place. There's a Euro place. Um, and then one of my favorite restaurants, can't see it from here, but it's kind of in between those buildings. Pasta Fresca has been around forever. Um, I'm not sure if they're open currently, but uh, just a great, 
great Italian restaurant if you're if you love Italian. And of course, China Harbor, um, they're on the lake as well. And if you're concerned about parking for your guests, again, people can park. You can kind of see down there um, that there are um, street parking there. There's also street parking along Dexter. And then you can essentially um, either meet them at the garage or it's, it may be hard to see, but there is a staircase on that southern end of the building that takes you to the front. That staircase also takes you to the pedestrian overpass as well. And if you work in Fremont, same thing. It's probably again a 10 minute bike ride into Fremont from here. Uh, a little bit of an uphill heading north um, and then back down um, across the Fremont Bridge there. So the location is, you know, it really, from an accessibility point of view, you're so close to everything and yet you're not paying for um, expensive amenities that you're not using or kind of um, some of these newer buildings, just that expense of having a brand new shiny building. You're getting a really great space. Uh, the building does not have a rental cap. Right now it's at 50% uh, owner occupancy. So again, if you are also looking for an investment, uh, really easy to rent, super easy to maintain. And again, my client has pretty much um, updated it. So it's really moving and ready for the next uh, homeowner. And right now the interest rates are still really low. Um, depending on your credit score and type of loan that you're looking at, you can get anything from a 2.6 to 5 to like a 3 point um, uh, interest rate, which is amazing. So again, it really helps add to your affordability as you're looking to buy. There's another one. And it's so easy just to walk down there and um, maybe go rent some kayaks, paddleboard. It's always amazing when I go and do these kind of tours or show my buyer clients condos like this that even on such an amazing day like today, you literally have the entire rooftop deck to yourself. Nobody's out here enjoying the weather. I know what I'm gonna do when I'm done here, that's for sure. It's a really incredibly quiet building. Um, they do try to enforce quiet hours, but gosh, every time I've been here, it's just been super quiet. So there's somebody just for a point of reference walking across that overpass um, from Queen Anne to over here. And the nice thing about this unit is if you have guests, you can just meet them in the front. Don't have to worry about the elevators. This is probably better than looking at that ugly, ugly door. So I'm more than happy to answer any other questions that you might have. Um, you feel free to send me an email or my cell. Um, text me at 206-295-5942. Um, definitely happy to answer any questions that you have. I do have the full um, HOA documents available. So um, if you have a real estate agent that you're working with, um, have them email me and I can send them the, the link to access the meeting notes, the finance, the resale certificate are available. Um, and I'd love to have you take a look at that if you're interested uh, before you make an offer. Just so you're fully aware of, you know, uh, uh, any of the um, 
questions that you may have about the HOA specifically can be answered through looking through that. So here we are back in the lobby. access where your mail and FedEx is. The elevators um, go from directly from the parking and there's two elevators, one in the middle and one on the south side. You have each of these have their little vestibules with two doors on either, door on either side. Sorry about that. So just wanted to see if anybody else has any questions. I hope you found that this has been really helpful to give you a little bit more insight, um, a little bit closer view of this condo and whether or not it might be a great fit for you. And again, if you have any other questions, want to come take a tour, please give me a call or send me a message. My contact information is right there, and I'd be happy to help you out. Have a great one, everybody. Take care.